Hi, my name is Shai Kameen Brown. I'm Director of Product Marketing with Synaptics. I'm responsible for Low Power Edge AI. And today what I'm showing here is Low Power Audio Edge AI running on Synaptics DBM10L uh, Audio Low Power Edge AI processor. So I'm gonna say a few commands and we'll let the system recognize them and you'll hear the feedback through the speaker. Hey Synaptics, disarm system. System disarmed. Hey Synaptics, turn on camera. Camera on. Hey Synaptics, close camera. Camera off. So you can see their commands were recognized. This is again happening on the DBM10L at extremely low power and low latency. This next demo is about sound event detection. The DBM10L can be trained to recognize various specific sounds. This is useful for various segments and target markets that we're going after with this product, such as security and others. The DBM10L can recognize those target sounds with extremely low power. So you can design battery power devices that run on the DBM10L and last for three, four, five years. We've trained the DBM10L here to recognize three specific sounds. The first is baby cry, second is glass break, and the third is toilet flush. I'm gonna play those sounds on my phone through a Bluetooth speaker. DBM10L is gonna hear those sounds, recognize them, and then play back feedback after about a second through the speaker, the other speaker over here. And I'm gonna start with baby cry. Detected baby cry. All right, next one, I'm gonna do some glass breaking. Detected glass break. And the last one, toilet flush. Detected toilet flush. So all these sounds are detected by DBM10L. Again, it's extreme low power, battery power devices. This next demo is user voice authentication. The DBM10L runs an application that can detect specific voices that enroll to be recognized on this application. This is a partner implementation running on the neural network processor inside DBM10L. So I have enrolled my voice, I enrolled my voice earlier. And so this is it's gonna recognize my voice as soon as, soon as I start talking close enough to the microphone, it's a very noisy environment. And you're gonna see that my voice is recognized. Megan here is gonna talk after me and you'll see that her voice is not recognized. Hello, this is Shai, can you recognize my voice please? So it takes a couple of seconds and you see it says it's a match. I'm gonna do this again. Hello, this is Shai and this device is gonna recognize my voice. And again, you can see it says a match. My Megan, you go ahead. Hi, this is Megan. Can you recognize my voice? So you can see it did not recognize Megan. One last time, I will show you that it can recognize me. This is Shai. Can you recognize my voice, please, from Synaptics? And you can see it's recognized again. In this next demo, we're going to show how developers can use our partner's tool. The partner is called Imagimob. The tool is called Imagimob AI Studio. And developers can use that to easily and quickly create AI models that then run on the DBM10L. So this saves a lot of development time, saves resources, and uh, gets you to market quick, more quickly. In this case, what we're showing on the Imagimob Studio is a project that was created previously. Very simple project detecting a couple of um, uh, short phrases, short commands. In this case, up and down. Here at the bottom, you can see uh, the various training data that was fed into the system. So there's various recordings, and you can see some information about the annotation of each recording. So this is the training data. Um, you can also see some indication of pre-processing code. The pre-processing code is provided by Synaptics and integrated into the Imagimob Studio tool. You can see some of the, process, uh, the properties of the uh, pre-processing information or pre-processing code. 
such as sample rate, frame size, etc. And then once these two are available, the training data and the pre-processing, you can train the, uh, you can send the information to the cloud for training. And there are two ways to train the data, to uh, train the models using the data. One is to import an existing architecture using this button. And the other is to generate a model list. This is automatic, automatically generated by the Imagimob cloud uh, service. So in this case, we actually imported an architecture. What you're gonna see when I go to the cloud view, so this is a view of what's of, of uh, trained models available in the cloud. This was pre-trained. You only see one here because we used a, an existing architecture. And if I open it up, you, you can see it before I open it up, you can see the job is completed. When I open it up, you can see some of the details, some statistics about the model that's been trained, such as training statistics, accuracy, etc., F1 score, and then there's statistics about validation, uh, test statistics, etc. So all of these statistics, when you have multiple models trained to choose from, those statistics give you an indication of which one is the best fit to your application. And then eventually you can download the, the trained model, download to your PC, transfer it over to the target and run it over there to get the project running. Um, the same can be used for uh, wake word detection. It can be used for sound event detection. All you need is to bring in the data, feed it, feed it into the ImagineMob tool and train your model. So that's it. Those are our demos on the DBM 10L for today. Thanks for watching.